Hi friends, now we will understand the concept of uh, line impedance and, and load impedance we know very well and what are the voltage drops across the line impedance. So let's go to our blackboard. So now consider a source again. We are considering a source. Okay. Uh, this is our source. Let's try to draw in a better shape. So this is the source. And just consider that this is our line. And this is the load. Ideally, in our circuits, we are considering a line which is basically supplying voltages and currents from source to the load. This is the load actually. We consider the resistance of line over in electrical circuits as zero, but practically each conductor or each cable has a resistance. So we can show the resistance of cable by R. So we can draw the resistance here. So let's suppose we can show the resistance of line as R line, R line. And now if one ampere is flowing through this, let's suppose load current here is one ampere and R line is equal to 1 ohm the voltage drop across this resistance will be equal to in this case for example if I is equal to 1 then voltage drop across the la across this cable which is supplying the load current okay at 1 ampere voltage drop across the line will equal to 1 ampere so if this generator is supplying 100 volts, 1 volt will drop across this, then the volt up here across the load will be equal to 99 volts. Now if current increases to 5 ampere, the voltage drop across resistance will be equal to 5 volts and in this case the voltage that appears across the load will be equal to 95 volts. So it means if a uh, load draw more current, there will be more voltage drops across the line or the cable and less voltage, remaining voltage will appear across the load. So this is the practical concept of the line impedance and line impedance voltage drops. Thank you very much.